previously, we ran a video of every team's draft pick that Mel Kuyper was horribly wrong about. Three years from now, you could be looking at a guy who's certainly one of the elite top five quarterbacks in this league. Skill level that he has is certainly John Elway like. But the legendary NFL analyst deserves some credit for the picks that he calls correctly too. And trust us, this man has hit the jackpot on a lot of them. Here's a look at one draft pick for every NFL team that Kuyper was actually right about. Arizona Cardinals, Patrick Peterson. Kuyper released his final first round mock one day before the 2011 NFL Draft. This class was loaded with future superstars and Hall of Famers, and Kuyper hit the jackpot on several prospects. Among them, Kuyper had the Cardinals take an LSU cornerback, Patrick Peterson, with the number five pick. Great athletic ability, tremendous catch-up ability, range, great ball skills, the return ability is a bonus. Peterson spent 10 seasons with Arizona, racking up eight Pro Bowls and three first-team All-Pro selections during his time in the desert. Atlanta Falcons Brett Favre Favre was drafted 33rd overall by the Atlanta Falcons in 1991. In his draft report, however, Kuiper listed Favre as the number 17 prospect and noted that he has a strong, powerful arm. His delivery is outstanding, and he has the natural ability and overall attitude to make the successful transition to the NFL. Three MVP awards, a Super Bowl ring, and a Hall of Fame induction later, and I'd say Kuiper was bang on with his assessment. Baltimore Ravens Joe Flacco Matt Ryan was the first QB drafted in 2008. Kuiper had suggested that if Delaware product Joe Flacco had gone to a bigger school, there'd be a greater debate as to which quarterback would go first. When you have an arm that is that big, all you need is an audience, Kuiper stated. Flacco may be at the down point of his career, but there was definitely a time where he threw arguably the NFL's best deep ball. For proof, see the Mile High Miracle. Buffalo Bills Josh Allen the 2018 NFL Draft consisted of five highly touted QB prospects. Everyone seemed to have their guy, and for Kuiper, his was Wyoming quarterback Josh Allen. The wild part, and I've been consistent all along, going back to December with Josh Allen from Wyoming being the number one guy and the number one quarterback. Kuiper promoted Allen as the best QB of this class, ahead of guys like Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, and Lamar Jackson, even when people like Stephen A. Smith doubted him. Here's the problem, Mel Kuiper Jr. We're talking Wyoming. Is anybody, any of these quarterbacks, worthy of being a top 10 pick? Well, three years into their respective careers, it's looking like Kuiper was right about the Bills QB. Carolina Panthers, Christian McCaffrey. Everybody knows that it's risky to draft a running back early. But Kuiper had no issues with the Panthers taking the Stanford running back in 2017. In fact, he loved the selection. McCaffrey, first of all, is not a running back. He's a slot receiver. He's a wide receiver, punt returner, kick returner. Great call by the Panthers and Kuiper. As C-Mac became just the third running back in NFL history to record 1,000 rushing and receiving yards in a season in 2019. Chicago Bears, Kyle Fuller. The Bears took the Virginia Tech corner 14th overall in 2014, and Kuiper's take on Fuller was near 100% accurate. In his draft grades, Kuiper wrote that Kyle Fuller may not be a star at CB, but the floor is probably a really good player for a long time. Exactly! Fuller has never been elite, but he did earn two Pro Bowl selections in his seven seasons with the Bears. Cincinnati Bengals, AJ Green. The Bengals hit home runs with their first two picks in 2011. They took AJ Green fourth overall before landing Andy Dalton in round two. Kuiper wrote that Green would make all the plays and is as ready as any player in the draft to help a team. AJ Green to make three excellent years of a body of work to me, you know, argued as John said, the number one player in this draft. Green caught 65 passes for 1,057 yards and seven touchdowns and helped the Bengals claim the final wildcard spot in the AFC as a rookie. It marked the first of five straight playoff seasons for the long struggling franchise. Cleveland Browns, Johnny Menzel. Manziel was one of the most polarizing prospects ever. We all know how much Skip Bayless believed in his ability to succeed at the NFL level. I can make a case he Whoa. should be top two. I am completely, utterly sold on him as a National Football League starter okay. and star. But on ESPN First Take, Kuiper warned Bayless about his giant bust potential. It's going to be the interviews, it's going to be the workouts, it's going to be the measurables. You put together the off-the-field concern. In my opinion, right now, he does not belong in the top 25. Well, Kuiper's take sure aged well. Manziel threw his hands, a fumble. Tries to pick it up, lets that one go. They'll pick it up. Dallas Cowboys, Zach Martin. Jerry Jones wanted to take Manziel here. 
but the Cowboys wisely settled on Notre Dame guard Zach Martin at number 16 overall. Kuiper credited Dallas for passing on Manziel. He stated that the Martin selection made the Dallas O-line arguably among the top few units in the NFL. Kuiper also saw Martin as a top 10 talent, which he undoubtedly has been. Denver Broncos, Tim Tebow. Prior to the 2010 draft, Kuiper said that Tebow was an H-back and that he never thought of him as an NFL QB. Kuiper also suggested that a team draft him in round 3 or 4. Well, the Broncos should have taken Kuiper's advice. They drafted Tebow 25th overall as a quarterback, and while he did win them some games, including a thrilling overtime playoff victory against the Steelers, he only lasted two seasons in Denver and looked much more like a running back than a quarterback during his time under center. Detroit Lions, Matthew Stafford. We can keep this one short and sweet. In 2006, Kaipo was quoted as stating the following on ESPN Radio. Matthew Stafford eventually will be the number one pick in the NFL draft. Write that down. Well, spoiler alert, three years later in 2009, Stafford was drafted first overall by the Lions. Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers. Even though they already had Brett Favre at quarterback, the Packers opted to choose Rodgers at number 24 overall in 2005. After the pick, Kuiper said, quote, you just can't pass on the opportunity to get Brett Favre's heir apparent and give him some time to learn from one of the best passers ever, even though he won't help them win this year. In his draft report, Kuiper also said A-Rod could light up a defense, and he described him as tough, confident, and incredibly poised. Check, check, and check. Houston Texans, J.J. Watt. In his 2011 mock draft, Kuiper had the Browns taking J.J. Watt with the number 6 pick. Kuiper said, You won't find a more consistently disruptive and versatile player along the defensive line than Watt. Watt actually fell to the Texans at number 11 overall. And Kuiper's take was accurate. Jacksonville Jaguars, Leonard Fournette. A Kuiper, to put it mildly, wasn't the least bit smitten with the Jaguars' decision to take the LSU running back fourth overall in 2017. Vision is a runner, I think is somewhat questionable, needs more polish as a receiver, average pass blocker, so he's not nearly as complete. In his draft grades, Kuiper gave the Jaguars a C+. He specifically questioned the Fournette pick, saying he's just not a fan of taking running backs early when other needs can be addressed. And, well, he was right. Indianapolis Colts, Trev Alberts. With the number 5 pick in the 1994 draft, the Colts took Nebraska linebacker Trev Alberts. Indianapolis has selected uh, Trev Alberts, linebacker from Nebraska. Alberts a great player. Yeah. There's no cool. question about that, but you got a problem with this move? And it led to one of the most iconic NFL draft moments ever. Who in the hell is Mel Kuyper, in a way? Mel Kuyper has no more credentials to do what he's doing than my neighbor, and my neighbor's a postman, and he doesn't even have season tickets to the NFL. Alberts played just three seasons in the NFL. He recorded only four sacks and three forced fumbles. The pass off of Trent Dilfer when all you have is Jim Harbaugh, give me a break. That's why the Colts are picking second every year in the draft, not battling for the Super Bowl. Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes. A month before the NFL draft, Kuiper explained why he thought Texas Tech star Patrick Mahomes was the best QB of the 2017 class ahead of Mitch Trubisky and Deshaun Watson. Kuiper was perfectly accurate on his assessment on Mahomes. Think about an ultimate gunslinger. This kid has, I think, a lot more potential moving forward than people think this kid can throw the ball all over the yard. Well said, Mel. Las Vegas Raiders, Amari Cooper. The Raiders spent more than a decade wasting high-end first-round picks. A year after they nailed the Khalil Mack pick, the Raiders took Amari Cooper fourth overall in 2015. Let's just say Kuiper was all over the selection. I'm taking Amari Cooper, and I think this is the obvious pick for the Raiders. I could never go in any direction except Amari Cooper because you have Derek Carr, and you gotta help him. He said he wasn't sure if any other club hit a bigger home run early in the draft. He also said Cooper is in some ways a pass-catching version of Mac. He does everything well. And Cooper's lived up to that high praise, not only during his three seasons with the Raiders, but during his ensuing time with the Cowboys as well. Los Angeles Chargers Melvin Gordon. The Chargers traded up to take the power running back 15th overall in 2015. And though Kuiper noted he doesn't usually like taking RBs early, the draft guru was fine with this one. What's underrated about him, he can run inside between the tackles 
also bounce it outside, and there's nobody going to catch him, even though he ran a 4 5 3 at the combine. He plays a lot faster than that. The Kuiper said Gordon was a massive upgrade in the RB depth chart and said Phillip Rivers could be a little happier if the rushing game improves. Los Angeles Rams, Steven Jackson. With Hall of Famer Marshall Falk nearing the end of his career, the Rams took his successor with the number 24 selection in 2004. Kuiper gave the Rams draft hall a B and shared this tidbit on Jackson. Marshall Falk has made 21 starts over the last two years, so Steven Jackson is a perfect fit as the heir apparent at running back. Jackson went on to make three Pro Bowls and record eight 1,000-yard seasons with the Rams. Miami Dolphins, Devontae Parker. Kuiper gave the Dolphins a B grade for the 2015 draft mostly because of the Parker selection. He said the Louisville wideout has the chance to be special and fills a clear need for them. He will work hard to block. He's been a respected team leader going dating all the way back to his high school days. So he brings talent, he brings great character as well. Parker finally broke out with the Dolphins in 2019 to show his potential as a number one receiver. Minnesota Vikings. Christian Ponder. The QB needy Vikings took a chance on Christian Ponder at number 12 overall in 2011. But Kuiper didn't agree. He said the Vikings reached for Ponder and wondered if he could have been had later. When you talk about arm strength, that's an issue. Numbers overall, not great, but I think when you look at Christian Ponder, you're being overdrafted because the team said, we've got to get a quarterback. Ponder was a mess from the get-go, and he was out of the league by 2016. New England Patriots, Jimmy Garoppolo. Before the 2014 draft, Kuiper put together a list of sleepers, which included Garoppolo. He also said that Jimmy G could be the next name called after Derek Carr and Teddy Bridgewater. Garoppolo went 62nd overall to the Patriots, and yes, he was the first QB taken after Carr and Bridgewater were selected, just like Mel predicted. New Orleans Saints, Marshawn Lattimore. If it weren't for hamstring injuries, Lattimore could have been drafted in the top five, but the Saints happily took the Ohio State corner with the number 11 selection, and Kuiper was thrilled with the pick. Marshawn Lattimore comes with what I'd call an orange flag, not quite red, because of lingering hamstring issues, but if he's healthy, he's the top cornerback in the draft. Marlon Humphrey and Tredavious White might have something to say, but yes, Lattimore has made a strong case as the best corner of this draft. New York Giants. Saquon Barkley. The Giants were widely expected to take Eli Manning's successor with the number two pick in 2018, but they couldn't pass on generational running back prospect Saquon Barkley. Kuiper said Barkley will probably be great, but he criticized the decision to take a running back this early. Barkley has been a game-changing force when healthy, but the Giants passed on two top-notch QBs and Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen. We're not gonna get the heir apparent to Eli Manning. We're gonna get Saquon Barkley and certainly go away from Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, or Josh Rosen. So, yeah, taking an RB that early was probably not a wise move. New York Jets, Jamal Adams. Adams was number three on Kuiper's final top 300 big board for the 2017 draft. Kuiper said Adams is, quote, built for today's NFL as a versatile safety who can play in the box effectively, make tackles against the run, and move to the edges and track slot receivers. Bingo. The Jets took Adams 6 overall, and he came exactly as advertised by Kuiper. Pittsburgh Steelers Juju Smith-Schuster The Steelers took Juju Smith-Schuster 62nd overall in 2017, but Kuiper believed he could have gone earlier in round 2. He said Juju has number 1 potential, and he was right. Juju flashed that number 1 potential when he led the Steelers in receiving yards as a sophomore, even while Antonio Brown was still there. Philadelphia Eagles Dallas Goddard when the Eagles took the South Dakota State tight end at number 49 overall in 2018, Kuiper called it the steal of the draft. Three years and 12 touchdowns later, it's looking like Kuiper was spot on. San Francisco 49ers, Frank Gore. Kuiper said Gore was a first round talent in 2005, but he slipped to the San Francisco 49ers at number 65 overall. Boy, was he right. All Gore has done is piece together a Hall of Fame career, one that sees him sit third all-time in career rushing yards. Seattle Seahawks, Rick Meyer. 
The Seahawks drafted the Notre Dame QB with the second overall pick in 1993, but Kuiper only had him ranked as the 33rd best prospect in the class. Now, Mel, the dilemma for the Seahawks right now, do they take another quarterback? You say that as you do your board, Rick Meyer should not be the second pick overall in the draft? Meyer only won 24 of 68 career starts, with 50 touchdowns against 76 interceptions. To me, I think he's a risk this high. You look at the completion percentage, 51. 1.3. He needs a lot of developing, and to me, this is a stretch. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Levante David. Nine years into his NFL career, it's safe to say that Levante David has produced like a first round pick, despite being taken late in the second round by the Bucks in 2012. With the 58 pick in the 2012 NFL draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Levante David. Linebacker, Nebraska. Well, when you know it, Kuiper predicted this would be the case all along. They put that big board together on ESPN starting in August all the way through the year. Levante David was in the top 25. So you're talking about getting this kid at 57? Tennessee Titans, Taylor Lewan. Kuiper ranked Lewan as the number five prospect in the 2014 draft. The Titans got him 11th overall, and Kuiper remarked, you can't knock the pick, while emphasizing his strong run blocking game. Well, just ask Derrick Henry about Lawan's run blocking skills. Along with his three Pro Bowl selections, I think it's safe to say the Titans and Kuiper got this pick right. Washington football team, Brandon Sheriff. Washington took Sheriff fifth overall in 2015. Here we are, more than a half decade later, and look at just how accurate Kuiper's quote was. I know there are questions about whether Brandon Scherf can stay at tackle in the NFL, but even if he's a guard, while the pick value loses a little, the guy is a true mauler. A player who makes the run game better the second he steps on the field. Oh, you get about 6'4 and a half, 320. Mean, nasty finishes. Tremendous run blocker. And I think he's got pretty good feet. I think he's underrated in pass protection. Well, six seasons later, Sheriff has already proven himself to be one of the best guards in the game. But hey, what other draft picks was Mel Kuyper right about? Join us in the comments section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.